guys, Jay here. So today I'm going to be doing a kind of a review type thing on foam mo, which is EVA foam clay. It's clay and it kind of works like clay, but it's foam, which is really cool. I've only used it once and that was in the previous video to this, which should be the video right before this, that uh, I put it on my cloud sword that I just made, my buster sword, and fixed the edge where there was a bunch of gouges and this filled in all the gouges. So uh, it works for that, obviously, but I want to see what else it can do. So I want to kind of do some tests and see what happens. So I did figure out that by reading online, about a quarter inch takes two days to dry, 48 hours, to fully dry and cure. I only used like, uh, what, like a fifth of a, or an eighth even of of it and so it, it dried in a day but bigger stuff is going to take longer so i'm going to do some bigger stuff in a couple different sizes and do a few things but apparently stuff that's really big like stuff that you would want to put on armor like i'm going to use this right here this is actually not being used by me this is a bracer piece and it's supposed to be for zero from mega man but that never happened. And I'm using this because it has two different kinds of curves to it. It has this weird two-way curve and then this one that just goes around. So I'm going to put something on each of those and see how well things can form to it. Uh, but I have two sheets of cardboard here. If I need to make something longer, if something needs to be long, I can put it on this one. If it doesn't need to be long, I can put it on this one. So uh, I'm going to be just using this stuff and seeing what happens. So there was a tab here that said open and you just tear that off and then you can just peel that right open. And it comes in this Ziploc bag and it's like vacuum formed. So, I mean, that's cool, I guess. You don't, you want to, you want to do that again, like crush it down and seal it up because uh, you don't want air in there because it dries in the air. So you want to get all the air out. So just remember to do that when you close it up. But I had it open for a good 30, 45 minutes. So I didn't need to worry about it. And actually, I should just completely take it out. All right, so um, this stuff is really weird. It looks, it looks like Laffy Taffy almost. I don't know how to get you guys a good shot of it, but it looks a lot like Laffy Taffy, which is kind of gross, but I love Laffy Taffy, so it kind of makes me want some, but whatever. Um, it does, oh, it's sticking to the bag a little bit on the side there. Um, parts where it folded over on itself are sticking to the bag, so you got to note that too. So I also do have this little thing here of water. It's just a little tiny bit. There was a lot more and I spilled it, but that was the other day. Uh, but um, we can use this water to uh, activate this stuff to make it, it makes it easier to smooth out and everything. If you have tools or whatever for clay work, that would be better. I just don't. So let's pull some of this out. And the way it pulls off of it is... I don't even know how to how to explain that, but it doesn't feel like clay. I, I can't explain what it feels like. I guess silly putty or you know play-doh or something like that. That's more along the lines of what it feels like to me. Um, but it's really easy to mold, and unlike clay, clay you have to knead for a while until it becomes moldable. This you don't have to do that. So. That's good. It's not rolling into a ball very well though. So it's not smoothing out as well as I would like, but it's also not wet. So anyway, um, you might not be able to see this that well, but I'm gonna do what I can to make some stuff down here. Uh, I'm going to make something for this and then just a few small things that I don't really need, but I'm gonna make them anyway. So first, uh, I don't have anything flat to flatten this out with, so I'm just gonna use my hand. So make that about a quarter inch, which is supposed to take two days to dry. And if it does, then I'll come back in two days and do that again. Uh, this, I'm probably just gonna, let me see. I'm just gonna make a, oh, I'm not gonna use that one. I'm gonna use the X-Acto knife. And I'm just gonna make a design. Let's make, let's make a heart. If I had a cookie cutter, this would probably be way easier. That does not want to come out very well. So it doesn't cut very well. Um, I was cutting into the, I can see the design I just cut um, into the, the foil, but it's not coming off of here at all. So 
that doesn't work. So we can't just cut things out. Um, we might be able to on a surface where I can actually cut all the way down, but on this foil, I can't do that. So we're not doing that. Um, I'm going to make here, I'm just gonna make a ball then with this. Let me get some water on my hands and let's make a ball. Get some water on it too. To actually knead the water into it and see what happens. Ooh, that works a lot better. So we'll do that. All right, so that rolled into a ball. So I'm gonna leave that, I'm gonna actually uh, press that down a little bit. Oh, wow. That doesn't even dent that in. That's kind of cool. Uh, it's still staying in a ball when I do that. So that's kind of cool. So I guess I don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, let me just, um, let's set this on the long one. Actually, let's use the long one real quick so I can make the thing I'm gonna put on here. Oh, by the way, so this one being this thick, this should be like a week. So I'm gonna come back in a week. I'm doing this like way in advance so I don't have to worry about it. All right, so for the next one, we're doing the thing that's gonna go on here. So I don't actually know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do something. I'm gonna do a couple things. I'm gonna do like a thick design that goes on it and then I'm gonna do like a swirl design or something, you know, for your armors that would have that kind of stuff. So let me do the swirl design because that's easy. So I'm just gonna make, just like you would with Play-Doh or any other clay where you're making something long like this, you're gonna just roll it out. This is called a, like a, a Play-Doh snake or whatever, or clay snake. Just do that. And then I'm going to, let's see, I'm gonna cut it off right here. So I can cut through and then just rip it off while it's still in there. And I'm going to point this a little bit because I think that looks cool. And then I'm gonna make I'm gonna make this like a, you can't even see that. I'm gonna make this like a triangle shape where it's like a, a pyramid shape going all the way down. If you look at like the Hylian shield, uh, that the little designs it has on it, the little silver design things, it's basically like that, the way those are shaped. That's what I wanna make. I like that, it looked cool. It's very typical for fantasy armor and it's easy. You just pinch and your fingers already make that shape. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about it. So I'm gonna make a little swirl. Okay, that was probably bad, actually. Um, it seems to sort of be picking up, but it was sticking to the, it was sticking to this. So I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna put it on this, which you guys will be able to see even easier. So let me pick it up and let's put it, let's put it over this big curve here because it's kind of cool. So, oh, I need to, wet the bottom of it so by wetting the bottom of it it's going to make it stick to the armor better because that's how it sticks so i'm going to do that place it right on the foam like that it's already wanting to stick so we'll go like in this weird we'll do a question mark how about that? A question mark. Because it swirls around and does all this weird stuff. So we'll just do that. And I'm gonna make something that goes just around this little curve here, which will be like the same type of thing. Actually, I'm gonna make something bigger that goes over that. So let me do that actually. I wish I had a tighter curve. Oh, I can put it on the same curve actually. I might be able to just put it right over here, but I don't really want to do that. So I'm not going to. I'll even make it look kind of cool and sharp and whatever. And hey, one side's a little bit longer than the other, but whatever. All right, so I'll just do that. So that's nice and thick. That's like an inch, an inch and a half. No, it's about an inch uh, thick. So I'll just do that. Um, and I will show you everything close up. Don't worry about it. Uh, but for now, that's about all I need to do um, because the bigger stuff, it just anything that's big like that would be the same type of thing. So if you're making like a skull or whatever else, maybe uh, just some weird design that goes on your 
uh, on your chest plate or something, like a crest or something that's gonna be nice and thick. It'll be the same exact kind of thing. It takes just as long to dry, apparently. So, stuff like this, it's the thickness, not how much there is. So, the overall thickness, it, it'll just, I don't know. But we'll, we'll come back in like a week and see what happens. All right, so it's been roughly a week. I think it's been like a week and a day or something. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, so uh, all of this stuff is pretty dry. I don't think there's anything like not dry anymore. So this was like my largest piece here and it seems to be fine. Uh, this ball also seems to be fine. And I think I can use stuff like this later on, making a ball rather than having to try to find foam balls. So that's good. It'll just take a while for them to, uh, you know, be ready to use. So I also did these right here, and I don't know why, but the bottom of these won't dry. Like, it won't, period. It's been over a week, and the bottom is still kind of wet, and I can still mold it a little bit, and it feels weird. The, the flat part of the ball that was up against the, the foil here doesn't feel the same as this, and doesn't stick to it so that's good that means it's not like sticky wet but whatever so I'm not sure if I made these in the first part of this video or not but these are just styrofoam balls that I covered in the foam so this you know foam most stuff and I was gonna see if I could use these for the materia in my buster sword but it doesn't work the way I was hoping so it's not gonna happen but today we're gonna be doing all of the tests on this stuff to see what happens. I've already cut these down because I used the fourth one that I had. I had four, now I have three. So I've used one of them already. So I know I can cut through it. It's just a single little layer. Obviously you can cut through that. Um, this one right here was that piece that was sort of like this, but I just made it by itself. Um, I tried bending it like you would with foam and it just snapped in half. So this stuff is pretty brittle when it's dry and this feels harder than like say this like this is nice and squishy and so is the ball but this while it's while it still squishes it's very brittle and can break so first i want to see what happens when i glue some of this stuff together so uh, i'm gonna actually cut let me do this normal way so I'm gonna cut that off like that and it looks like it does the same thing the brake does I thought it would be more smooth looking like it does on the the foam mats or the EVA craft foam uh, like on here I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it but um, where the where I made the cuts on these they're really smooth and you don't really see much of the texture and you can't feel it on here where I cut you can feel the texture that it, it's the same as when I broke it so I don't know anyway we're gonna do some glue tests and I'm gonna cut through this and then glue it back together and see what happens so let's do that now okay that didn't work very well uh, the center is actually still wet so the center is barely dry at all so this is definitely not dry enough let me see something here if I put it back together will it uh Okay, it, it doesn't want to, it sort of does, you can sort of hear it. So it does want to try to stick together, but it won't. So, I don't know which way this went on. This way? Yeah. All right, let's put it back together, squish it. Yeah, it's wanting to stick back together, so yeah, it's still together. Uh, the center of it is staying so that's not even dry so that's bad um so that was bad enough already uh let's take this on the flat end here that would sit up and i'm gonna do a little test on that with glue uh let me do like let me open this i don't have my my squirt bottle of glue it's almost empty so yeah that sucks um but i'm gonna put a little bit of this down on that foam and then a little bit in the little divot here or the, the flat part of it then I'm gonna let that dry 
I'm gonna do the same thing, but in just a moment, um, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna try to glue these two pieces back together with super glue and stick them together. Now I'll set that down to dry. Okay, this seems about dry enough, so I'm gonna see how well this sticks. <clears throat> and then I'm going to also take, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take this, this other piece of foam here. Uh, I really wish I could do something else with this, but let me just, yeah, let me just try this. Uh, not gonna give me the best result, but I don't have another flat piece I can use. So I'm just gonna use super glue and put those two pieces together like that. And then we're gonna let this dry. And then this one, I'm gonna take, cut it again. So now I have half again. And I'm gonna use contact cement and try to put them back together. All right, they're, it's holding it together, so that's good. That's better than nothing. And now I wanna see how well it'll glue to other foam. Wait, wouldn't that be the same? <laughs> That'd be the same as this one. So, eh, whatever, let's do it anyway. And then I'll just leave these for about 10 minutes and come back and see how they are. All right, so it's been a little bit of time. I don't exactly know how much I didn't keep track, but um, so let's just get rid of these. They didn't do what I wanted them to do, so I don't actually need them. Uh, so these are the two things that I just did. And this one is the one that is uh, contact cemented on and it just basically peels right back up. And that contact cement is still not, it's like it won't dry regardless. It does the same thing over here. It, it's been quite a while and the contact cement just will not dry. But I have seen that if you cut it, like if you score it, you know, like that, and then uh, you put glue on that on both sides that it'll seep in and stick. I have seen that work. So that should be fine. This one was also kind of domed in because of the way it was. So I didn't expect that one to work as well, but you know, whatever. Uh, the super glue, it ripped the foam before it ripped the super glue up. So that actually stayed perfectly. That's fine. So super glue works perfect. And this is a super glued one and it, it's fine. Nothing's wrong with it. Uh, the one that was contact cemented together, obviously when it came up, it, it separated. It didn't stay together at all. So even where it was cut and very porous, didn't stay together at all. So that's really weird because EVA foam, it's literally like one of its properties is when it's glued, it's so porous that glue seeps in and that's how it grabs it. But it didn't do that. These, we're looking at the same type of thing. This was not down all the way on this side, so it peeled up a little bit and just snapped right off basically. So that happened, but the rest of it won't come off. I can't get it off of there. So when I stuck it on without glue or anything and just wet it down onto the piece, it stuck on there. That one ain't coming off at all unless I basically rip at it. And the same with this one. I started over here, but you have to put your like fingernail under it and rip up to it to get it off. But that's not gonna happen like while you're walking around at a con. So, and once you seal it with plastic dip, that'll cover those holes basically. And you can always go back over the holes and everything like that uh, that you accidentally make and it'll work just fine. But I don't know if you can cut into this stuff. So let, let me see. Yeah, you can cut into it just fine. So you can cut into it like you would with uh, any other EVA foam, just like, you know, but you get a smoother cut on this stuff. So that's nice. It's just a little bit harder uh, and spongier. So it's a little bit tougher to cut into, but yeah. So that's basically all I really need for this video. Uh, yeah, so it's this stuff, this foam mo by Cosplay Apprentice on Amazon. So yeah, I would say if you mess around with it a little bit, figure out how to make it work, then it should be fine. Uh, there should be no problems on your end. So go ahead, buy this stuff and, and call it good. Make your own cosplay stuff. This stuff's kind of cool.